Welcome to the video tutorials for the QCells Rooftop Planner. This video covers eDesigner. The eDesigner gives you the option of invert design, consideration of consumption profiles, take account of batteries when planning, simulation to determine the yield values. Several completely different plans can be created within a project. The first time you retrieve the eDesigner, you will be given instructions on how to use it. The screen is divided into three sections. The upper part contains the ribbon with the Add Planning button and later when you have finished a plan with the Project Report and CSV Export buttons. On the left you will see the navigation bar with the following areas. Overview of plans, display dimensioning layouts and yield values, results output, edit horizon and graphs. If there is not yet any plan in the current project, you will see the Add Plan button in the middle of the screen. After clicking on this button, you are taken to a blank planning area, which contains the following elements. Name of the plan. The default is PV Plan 1. Click on the written section to change the title of the planning according to your requirements. Add Roof opens a dialog box displaying the existing roof areas. For east-west roofs, each side is shown here as a roof. In our example, we select two roof areas. The settings gives you the option of customizing global settings according to your requirements. The Simulate, Reset Planning and Remove Planning functions are self-explanatory. After you have added the desired roof areas to your plan, in the next step, you select the manufacturer of the inverter that you wish to use. You can now see all the inverters in question and restrict the selection by selecting the points under Restrict Inverter and the checkbox is under Select Inverter, according to your requirements. It is often advisable to leave the eDesigner to find possible dimensioning layouts and simply click on the Calculate Dimensioning Layouts button. After a short computing period, a list of possible dimensioning layouts is displayed. Each dimensioning layout is marked with a frame. Within the frame, you can see the number and type of the inverter, its nominal power, maximum DC output, nominal power ratio, and which generator field it is assigned to. Before entering each inverter, you will see a symbol. Click on this symbol to display detailed data about the inverter. Select the desired dimensioning layouts and click on Apply Dimensioning Layouts. In the next step, you can decide whether a consumption profile should be taken into account in the simulation results. Click on the pencil next to No Consumer Selected or on the Add Consumer button. Below this, you now see a list of predefined consumption profiles. However, you can also define consumers manually. Here you have the option to define the consumer and on which working days, at which times, and in which calendar weeks a consumer is active. In our example, we choose the first predefined consumption profile and enter an annual consumption of 50,000 kilowatt hours and load the data by clicking on the Save button. In addition to the consumption profile, the use of batteries in the simulation can also be taken into account. Click on the pencil next to No Battery Selected or on the Add Battery button. Below you will see a selection box for the battery manufacturer. After selection, the list of available batteries is displayed. Details are displayed automatically once a battery has been selected. Choose a battery and adjust the number of batteries according to your requirements. Enter your details by clicking on the Save button. Next, we describe the dimensioning layouts. It is also recommended to give the variants a good name. To do this, simply click on the name, change the name of the variant according to your requirements, and save it by pressing the return key on your keyboard. Now we start the simulation for all layouts by clicking on Simulate. 
you can already see which dimensioning layout offers the best yield. In the headings you see the annual AC energy yield, the performance ratio, the inverter test button which you can use to evaluate the planned and actual values, the edit strings button which you can use to edit the contingent, the remove button which you can use to delete this dimensioning layout. Let's take a look at the simulation results. To do this, click on the output button under graphs in the left navigation. The metadata for the dimensioning layout is shown at the top. In the left navigation, you can simply change the dimensioning layouts by clicking and still remain in the view of the graphs. Below the meta value, you will find several entries such as yield of photovoltaic AC, global radiation, and so on. Below these entries, you will see a graph on the left and a table listing the most important results of the simulation of the currently selected dimensioning layout. Click on the entries under the meta view to load the corresponding graph. Below the graph, you will see the individual monthly values and the summarized annual sum. For each planning, you can adjust the framework conditions for your project according to your requirements in the Advanced Settings area. Open the Settings window by clicking on the Settings button in the Planning window. You will see the list of possible points to be changed. For each point, you can get more information by clicking on the I button. You can adjust the dimensioning layouts determined by the eDesigner. You will find a small arrow in front of each inverter. Click on this arrow to display the assignment, voltage, and the nominal power ratio. Click on the Edit Strings button to change the display and you can start adjusting the assignment. Below the list you will see the table, required modules, reverted modules, and non-reverted modules. This list also helps you keep track of large installations. As soon as you change a value, i.e. either the number of strings per input or the number of modules per string, you will see that the numbers are displayed in red. In addition, you will see how the voltage and the nominal power ratio automatically are adjusted. Make sure to realize the reassignment so that all numbers in the fields are black again and the number in the current modules is shown in green again in the table below. Creating your own combined graphs is easy. To do this, click on Graphs in the Edit submenu. Here at the start, you can select which graphs are to be available. In the upper right corner, you will see the Create Combined Graphs button. Once you have clicked, a dialog box for defining your own graphs opens. Select the values you want to display and enter your own name for the graph. You can preview the results before saving it by activating the Preview checkbox. This allows you to specify whether the graph is to be filled or unfilled. The colors of the graphs are easy to define by clicking on the relevant color field in the legend. Save these and change to Output. If you now switch back to the output, you will find your graph and can display it. Close shading is not taken into account when calculating the simulation results. However, the project horizon is taken into account in the calculation as this affects the entire area of the generator field. You can adjust this horizon to take trees or other buildings into account. Once you have collected the relevant data at the project site, open the Horizon section in the left navigation. You will now see the horizon which is automatically determined on the basis of map material. Enter the following values for each object that you wish to define on the horizon. Azimuth start value for the left edge of the object azimuth final value for the right edge of the object and horizon for the top edge of the object. Next, click on the Generate button and confirm that all existing simulation results are rejected. You will now see the new horizon that you have adapted. You can now switch back to Dimensioning Layouts to restart the simulation of each variant. In the eDesigner, you have the option to generate your own project report. 
Click on the Project Report button, which you can find at the top.